Hello, Grade 3. Welcome back to our new session. So today, our subject will be civics and culture. But before that, let us have our opening prayer. Let us put our hands together and feel the presence of our Lord. Dear Lord and Father of all, thank you for today. Thank you for ways in which you provide for us. Thank you for your protection and love. Help us to focus our hearts and minds now on what we are about to learn. Inspire us with your Holy Spirit as we listen and write. Guide us by your eternal light as we discover more about the world around us. We ask all this in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Once again, kids, our subject for today is civics and culture. So today, our lesson will be things identified with Filipinos. A typical Filipino possess a distinguished set of physical characteristics. These are results of the intermarriages between our ancestors and the foreigners who come to our country. Filipino skin is kayumangi in color. Generally, we have slender body and medium height. So now, let us talk about the Filipino way of clothing. The men wear barong Tagalog while the women wear kimona at patajong, barot saya or balintawa. Muslim women, especially in Mindanao, they wear colorful malong. In Mountain Province, women usually wear bright colored clothes, which are strip decorated with colorful ornaments. During special occasions, they use a special cloth called baltic and decorate themselves with pearls and uniquely designed bracelet, necklaces, and earrings we also wear clothes that can make us feel more comfortable and fit so today because of the modern modernization and advancement in communication among nations plus existing weather conditions in the country we filipinos adopted the manner of clothing of westerns and asians neighbors now let's talk about the Filipino language. Our national language is Filipino. It is the best way of showing that we Filipinos are really different from the rest of the world. The language is based on Tagalog, but it is a mixture of words taken from many dialects. In different regions and some foreign words that have become part of the daily conversation we always use our national language because it is one way of showing love for our country now let's learn the philippine songs and folk songs these songs tells about the things we do some of the native songs include bahay kubo magtanim ay dibiro Santa Clara, Manang Biday, Pamulinawen, Atin Kupong Sing Sing, and Leron Leron Sinta. We Filipinos are good dancers too. Cariñosa is our national dance, is always presented by famous dance groups in official functions and programs. And also we have Tinikling. Subli, itik itik, pandango sa ilaw, maglalatik, sayaw sa bangko, and also Muslims are known for their sinkil dance. While Igorots, they have kanyaw. 
Each region in the country has its own dances that match its identity. Now let us learn the Philippine musical instruments. We Filipinos have musical instruments that we can really call our own. They add beauty to a musical redemption when used as accompaniment. Example of Philippine musical instruments, we have kujapi, gabang, suling, gong, viola, rondalia, at banduria. And also we have octabina and laud. Now let us learn the Philippine games that we have in the Philippines. Philippine games are simple and creative but are mind challenging. These games use local materials that are inexpensive and easy to make. So the first example that we have is Tumbang Preso. So when I was a kid, kids, I always play that game also together with my neighborhood and childhood friends. And then Patentero. Okay, kids, this one is very famous, right? When you were in grade two, we experienced to play this kind of game outside our school. And then Sipa. Last time during uh, when we had our foundation day, isn't it? You did this kind of game, which is Sipa. And then Yoyo. We have Taguan or in um, as I, uh, in English, we call it hide and seek. Palasebo, Sarongola, Pokpok Palayok. This one, kids, we usually experience this kind of game during birthday occasions, right? And then we have Luxong Tinik, Padaus Dos. Pabitin, also this kind of gain, we experience this during birthday also. And those are examples of Philippine games that we have in the Philippines. Now let us move on to our national symbols. National symbol distinguish Filipinos from other nations of the world. So the first national symbol that we have is the Philippine flag. First among them is the Philippine flag. Every Filipino shows respect to the Philippine flag. It symbolizes the sacrifices encountered by our heroes in order to gain the independence from foreign invaders. Philippine flag, it has three colors, red, white, and blue. It also has sun and three stars. Next, we have Philippine National Anthem, which is Lupang Hinirang. It is a sign of respect. We always stand at attention every time it is sung, especially during flag ceremonies and flag retreats. Next, we have the National Bird, which is Philippine Eagle. Next, we have the National Sport, which is Arnis. Next, we have the national animal, which is carabao. Next, we have the national leaf, which is anahao. And then the next one, we have national fruit, mango. National flower, sampaguita. National house, bahay kubo. And then for the last one, we have national tree, which is nara. Did you understand our lesson, kids? If yes, let us answer your book. Kindly turn your book on pages 116 to 118. Now let us answer Power Up A, page 116. Here's the instruction. Letter A, write true or false on the blank. Again, write true or false on the blank. So here's the first question. An ordinary Filipino is mestizo looking. Do you agree with that, kids? I think no, because we have kayumangi skin, right? So it is false. Next, number two, the kayumangi color is the color of the skin of the Filipinos. Yes, of course, that is 
true. And then number three, we must always be proud of our Western style of clothing. So here the answer is true. Next number four, the people in mountain province wear colorful ornaments and bright colored dresses. What do you think is the answer, kids? Do you think the mount, uh, people who live in mountain province wear ornaments and bright colored dresses? Yes, of course. So our answer is true. Next, number five, the Filipino language is only used at home. Do you think only uh, we only use Filipino language at home? No, of course. So our answer is false. And then number six, most of the Philippine folk songs deal only with love. This is a false. Okay, number seven, our national language is Tagalog. Do you think our national language is Tagalog, kids? Yes, of course. So our answer is true. And then number eight, the Banduria, Octavina, and Laud are examples of rondolia instruments. So here, our answer is true. And then number nine, many of the Filipino games are less expensive games. Do you agree with that, kids? Yes, of course. So our answer here is true. And then for the last question, we should always cherish and give value to our national symbols because it represents our country. So here the answer is true. Now let us answer power up letter B on page 117. So here's the instruction. Enumerate the following. Number one question distinguishing physical characteristics of the Filipinos. Of course, we have kayumangi color skin. We have slender body. We have medium height. We have black hair. And we have brown eyes. So those are the physical characteristics of the Filipinos. Next, number two. Let us learn the Filipino costumes. We have Barong Tagalog, Kimona, Patajong, Barot Saya, at Balintawa. Number three questions. What are the Philippine folk dances that we have in the Philippines? We have Tinikling, Itik Itik, Pandango Sa Ilaw, Maglalatik, at Sayaw Sa Bangko. Next, number four, what are the Philippine native songs that we have? Of course, we have the Bahay Kubo. This is a familiar song to everybody. Magtanim ay Diviro also. Santa Clara, Manang Biday, at Leron Leron Sinta. And then next, we have native musical instruments. We have the Kujapi, Gabang, Suling, Gong at Biola. And then next, we have native games in the Philippines. We have Tumbang Preso, Patintero, Piko, Taguan, Palo Cebo, and other, um, and other native games. Now, let us give, let us learn your assignment. So here is your assignment in Gembook. Kindly answer page 115, steer up. Okay, kids? Thank you for listening, kids. See you on the next session. Goodbye, grade 3.